for the world to come. I ask your prayers for God's people throughout the world, for our Bishop Andrew, for our Bishop-elect Daniel, for this gathering, and for all ministers and people. Pray for the church. I ask your prayers for peace, for goodwill among nations, and for the well-being of all people. Pray for justice and peace. I ask your prayers for the poor, the sick, the hungry, the oppressed, and those in prison. Pray for those in any need or trouble. I ask your prayers for all who seek God or a deeper knowledge of him. Pray that they may find and be found by him. I ask your prayers for the departed, especially David Boer, brother of Dick Moore, and William Mitchum, brother of Francis Webb. Pray for those who have died. I ask your prayers for all those who suffer in body, mind, or spirit. Give them courage and hope in their troubles, and bring them the joy of your salvation, especially Cindy, Maria, Sienna, Martha, Alice, Larry, Rose, Ed, Bruce, Scott, Barry, Amy and her children, Peggy and Dee Dee, Bill, Mark, Emma, Everett, Jennifer, Ann, Thomas, Karen, Jack and Sue, Beth, Joanne and Jackie, Nancy, Nate, Frankie, Jamie, Pat, Marcia, George and Marie, Dan, Marty, Brian, Stephanie, Danny, Catherine, Brittany, and those we now name either in our hearts or on our lips. I ask your prayers for those who are in discernment for holy orders, especially Chris Johnson. I ask your prayers for those celebrating birthdays, Natalie Ames, Carolyn Bostick, Leslie Pollock, Ann Spear, and Eric Marvell. Altar flowers are given this day in honor of Sheila Robbins' 80th birthday by her daughters Liz Edwards and Rebecca Derrick. Almighty and ever-living God, we pray for this parish, St. Simon and St. Jude, our vestry, and all who are working on the search committee. Guide our parish family to be of one heart and mind as we search for a rector who will be your faithful servant and who will minister to your people. Open our hearts to you and to one another as we grow in love and service to you. Bless this congregation, that it may continue to be a place that welcomes, rejoices, and loves. Through Jesus, the Lord. Amen. Let us confess our sins against God and neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry. We humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. 
forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. I have only two announcements, the first of which is we'd like to thank our guest organist, Ms. Frances Webb, um, who's with us today while Matthew's away. Thank you for being here. And also, as, as I mentioned in the sermon, we are going to have star words, although it's going to be in a COVID-friendly sort of way, which is that um, Sandy Teal is assigning them, and you can contact her on Facebook, and she will give you one, or... If you are not um, technology, whatever you would say, used to using technology or whatever, there's a sign-up sheet uh, under the bulletin board there where you can put your name down there, and those names will be, will be passed on to Sandy, and you will prov uh, she will provide you with a randomly generated star word. And I would encourage you to use that, because I'm always astounded at the way that the Holy Spirit takes things that I would never expect to be useful and makes them incredibly useful. So maybe in your devotional life this year, use that word as a way to open yourself up to whatever it is that the Spirit is going to be doing with you and with us this year. I think Joe Riley has an announcement for us. Fill in the blank. Yankee Doodle went to, to riding on a pony, stuck a feather in his head and called it macaroni. That's exactly what we need. <laughs> we need macaroni and cheese because the, that's one of the things in our pantry that's lacking dearly. So please, macaroni and cheese. And yesterday would have been a great day to have a cup of chicken noodle soup as well. So those are the two things we're asking for right now. And, you're, and the, while you're thinking about how you can get that, just Except my Thanksgiving for all the things that you did around Christmas time here. You, you hit it out of the park more than once. And as we continue to do around here, we, our outreach reaches far and wide. And it's, but it's not seasonal, it's a year round thing. So please, macaroni and cheese, chicken noodle soup, tomato soup, if you will. Thank you in advance. psalms and spiritual offerings.
The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, because in the mystery of the word made flesh, you have caused a new light to shine in our hearts, to give knowledge of your glory in the face of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. to you, O God, for the goodness and love which you have made known to us in creation, in the calling of Israel to be your people, in your words spoken through the prophets, and above all, in the word made flesh, Jesus your Son. For in these last days you sent him to be incarnate from the Virgin Mary, to be the Savior and Redeemer of the world. In him you have delivered us from evil and made us worthy to stand before you. In him you have brought us out of error into truth, out of sin into righteousness, out of death into life. On the night before he died for us, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread, and when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine. When he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, according to his command, O Father, we remember his death, we proclaim his resurrection, we await his coming in glory. And we offer our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving to you, O Lord of all, presenting to you from your creation this bread and this wine. We pray you, gracious God, Send your Holy Spirit upon these gifts that they may be the sacrament of the body of Christ and the blood of the new covenant. Unite us to your Son in his sacrifice that we may be acceptable through him, being sanctified by the Holy Spirit. In the fullness of time, put all things in subjection under your Christ and bring us to that heavenly country where with the blessed Simon and Jude and all of your saints, we may enter the everlasting heritage of your sons and daughters through Jesus Christ our Lord, the firstborn of all creation, the head of the church, and the author of our salvation. By him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen.
Hallelujah. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. The gifts of God for the people of God.
Let us pray. God of all power and love, we give thanks for your unfailing presence and the hope you provide in times of uncertainty and loss. Send your Holy Spirit to enkindle in us your holy fire. Revive us to live as Christ's body in the world, a people who pray, worship, learn, break bread, share life, heal neighbors, bear good news, seek justice, rest and grow in the Spirit, wherever and however we gather. Unite in us common prayer and send us in common mission that we and the whole creation might be restored and renewed through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine upon you with grace and mercy. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. the good news.
Yeah, we'll call it, call it Kendra. Yeah.